分。So what I said just now, no abilash, others are also there, okay. So I'll just start this again, like I'll just show you once again, we have a heap area like suppose strings the strings are of like string class is there which is immutable and string buffer and string builder are mutables immutable means you can't modify them like you have two ways to declare a string literals and the new keyword right and uh, whenever you give literals like string s equals to hello once the memory is getting allocated but again if the same value is given to another variable it won't allocate separate memory that's the speciality of string constant pool area the same value is pointed by s1 this is the most important concept next if you're using a new keyword then separate memory will be allocated every time for every object for every new keyword okay so that's the thing and I just wanted to show you a program like how that strings are immutable so if we have just public static void main and a string args okay so next what we have we have to just see string s equals to hello string or else for the same value hello I want to add another value like I want to check it so I have a method known as concat so how to check whether what are the methods is nothing but open the command prompt you have a command java p what is the java p java profile java dot lang dot string Java dot lang dot string. So string is a class which is present in a package known as lang sub package. And in this thing we have a particular method. A lot of methods are there. And this split method is the most important thing actually. The split method. Apart from that, we have a concat method. So what is the concatenation method? Parameter is string, right? And the return type is also string. So you have to understand one thing. Whenever you are calling a method, you should see what is the return type is there and what are the parameters are there. So here, if I call s dot concat, I'm just adding by. Suppose if I print here this particular value, what is the value s? System dot print ln s is what? Okay. Now what will be the output we have to see? So just saving this thing in Java nine. String demo dot Java. I just declared a variable with a value hello I just want to concat concat is nothing but combining those two strings and just printing it so what will be the output we have to see so cd space java 9 java c space what is the next thing you can say string demo dot java so string demo dot java java space string demo so what's happening here as I said strings cannot be modified those are immutable here this hello will not be combined with pi like if you print s you can see yes 
Java string demo and uh, what you are getting you are getting hello itself not hello by why it's happening because the basic scenario is that strings can't be modified only the string literals cannot be modified why if I change the hello whoever is pointing to that hello will get affected so I can't change it right but what's happening here inside this it's nothing but we have seen the written type of a concat is nothing but string right means a separate memory will get created for the hello by it is getting added but what is the memory separate and this memory is not pointed by any string so if I just declare one more variable string s1 equals to and along with that s if I am printing the s1 along with that s if I am printing the s1 what will happen this particular values will differentiate will differ like save this thing and then if I compile again and run you'll have hello along with that we have one more thing known as hello by right so it's that it's getting executed it's getting changed but not the original value not the hello a separate memory in that separate memory who is pointing now s1 is pointing to that particular hello by okay so for that reason strings are immutable because of the string constant pool area and that value cannot be modified separate memory only will be getting allocated okay so this is just regarding the immutable thing and the mutable and how we allocate the memory for the new keyword string s1 equals to new string right string s1 equals new string hello now what you have to do it's nothing but string comparison there are some methods known as comparison string comparison that string comparison will have like first equals method so most important thing will be the equals method here okay and uh, we have one more thing known as double equals to we have seen this double equals to as a comparison operator in C language right but here also it's used as a comparison but what it compares we have to see and compare to and the next thing you can see it as what compare to first what is equals method we have to see simple the equals method compares the values or content of this string compares the values or content of the string that is equals method okay so what is it content or values you can say string s equals to hello and string s1 equals to new string hello so these are both are content and values right now I want to write a program for that equals method if I just declare again like s1 equals to again I am giving hello it's not regarding the memory now it's regarding the values or the content suppose I have one more thing on a string s2 equals to new what 
what is it we have to give? We have to give another thing known as hello. And string s3 equals to new string. And saying bye. Among this thing, what is getting executed? Suppose s dot equals is there. and s1 dot equals so s must be compared with some variable right so I'm comparing with s1 and s1 must be compared with some variable I'm comparing with s2 so s dot equals s1 and s1 dot equals s2 what is s content or value hello what is s1 content or value hello so both are having the same values right so it's a true scenario. Now, what is S1 again? Hello. And what is the S2? Here the memories are different. These are constant pool area. These are non-constant pool area. But I'm asking about the content or the values. And this hello will be different. So what will happen? The memory locations are different, but the content is same. Here it's hello, and here also it's hello. So S1 dot equals S2, again it's true. Because you're comparing the values. If I say system dot out dot println, and I'm having like S1 dot equals S3. So the content of S1 hello is not equal to the content of S3 by. If it is not equal, it will give error saying as false. It's not an error, it's just that if it is true, if the condition is true, the boolean will be true, right? Boolean means what, true or false. So the return type of equals will be boolean actually. So either you can return a true or you can return a false. Like Java P space Java dot lang Java dot lang dot string. So you can check it every time what method you are using, what is the return type and what are the parameters. Right? So again in the same scenario, if I use this compare to or you can say equals method, right? Yes. So equals method is there. What is the equals method written by boolean? What do you mean by boolean? True or false. So as a reason we are having either true or either false. Say the same program. And if I compile again Java C space. So what do you compile actually? Java C space string demo dot Java. Dot Java can be compiled and Java space string demo. So what's happening? True or false. True true and false. So what's the first thing which is true? So here we have that S equals S1 true s1 dot s2 equals to 2 and s1 dot equals s3 is false next after this save the thing entire thing we have next concept known as double equals to but I have a scenario here consider I am giving that string s2 hello or here by as capital hello. Again that s1 dot equals s3. Will it be true or false? That s1 dot equals s3. Again it will be false because k is sensitive. These two things are nothing but uppercase and lowercase right? So it will be case sensitive scenario. Okay. 
so here if I compile it and if I run this thing again what's happening here we are having the same output right because that s1 equals s3 is false so in this particular Java in the strings we have one more method known as equals ignore case this is also an important thing what I'm saying equals ignore case so what is the functionality you can say it will ignore the case and it will check it so here instead of uppercase or lowercase just it will say directly true because the content is same right so if you just want to have this thing what you have to do compile and check again so what you are getting everything is true right so how to ignore the case we have a equals ignore case right so next after the string double equals to so what do you mean by this double equals to double equals to is nothing but which compares the memory locations of the strings what is memory locations you can say here for strings we have two different things one is string constant pool area another thing is non constant pool area right here if we have multiple values then only one time the memory is getting allocated and that same value is represented by other variables right and the next thing what you can say double equals to compares the locations so for a scenario where the string s is hello and the same again if I am saying s1 is hello so both are pointing to same memory location or different so s is pointing to that s low and the same s1 is also pointing to the same hello right so what will happen here if you just write s equal double equals to s1 what will be the value it will be true again what is it true now you have to understand that double equals to only compares with the string like uh, memories not with the content okay so now if I say s double equals to s2 so what is s pointing to string constant pool area memory s2 is pointing to non constant pool area memory so the memory locations are different right so if the memory locations are different means I'm not saying about the constant or non constant pool area I'm saying about the pointing s is pointing to a hello which is different and s2 is pointing to a hello which is also again different right so just compile it again and print this thing so I just haven't saved the program I think so what I will just save the program again compile and run so what you are getting true and the false so why false because the memories are different and in the same manner if I have s double equals to s3 ok hello everyone can hear me right are you having any problem one of the, is it fine yeah, yeah. It's fine. okay fine because 
which was showing some technical problem that's as so s double equals to s2 is nothing but false and the most important thing if you say s2 double equals to s3 so what will happen this s2 is pointing to a hello which is non constant pool area and again s3 is pointing to another memory location it's not the same memory location right so both are pointing to different locations this s2 has one location and this s3 has one more location so here again if you are having the different locations means it's false if you see here if i compile and run this again so i'm getting the true false false right so what do you understand by this double equals to compares the particular locations and uh, equals is a method which compares the um, values or the content of a string right next after this what do you have like suppose the next concept will be compared to what is compared to it compares based on ascii values so what are ascii values you can say american standard code for information interchange like americans have set a particular number for every character every special symbol on the keyboard right like suppose if i say capital a that capital a will be what 65 this is a value integer value for the string and if i say suppose a that small a is nothing but again 97 97 and next if i say capital b capital b will be what 65 after 65 it will be 66 like that the count will be changing one after the other right so next here if i want to compare using compare to how it works so we are just removing this thing and i am having a variable on s b So I'll just remove this thing. I'll just say it as B, right? So what I want to write, I want to write that S dot equals A. So B value is 65. Sorry, B value is 66, and A value is 65, right? Mm -hmm. So if you compare two means, it will subtract B value to the A value. Then 66 minus 65, the output must be one. In the same manner. Yes. S dot equals not x dot. Yeah, and it's not equals actually. What is it method? Compared to. Compared to. Compared to. S dot compared to. Again, what I'm saying. A. So compared to is the method whose return type is what? If you see here, I'll just show it. How to check it? Java P space Java dot lang dot string. 
So every time you are using a method, try to search it in the package. So you can understand the difference. Like what is the return type and what is that particular parameter. So we have a particular thing known as compared to here. Right? So compared to return type is what? Integer. So here it's integer or not? One. In the same manner, if you have one more thing like s dot compared to of b b minus b is what? 0 and s dot compares to of c so what is it c? b minus c means what? b is 66 c is 67 so 66 minus 67 minus 1 so next if I just have to just compile this thing how to compile java c space string demo dot java and after this comparison java space string demo getting 1 0 and minus 1 ok so these are values like suppose consider instead of taking this I'll just take it as a variable like madam so I'm taking the same thing again madam so what will happen here the first one will be 0 and the remaining things will have some values right so compare to compares the ASCII values. So all the ASCII values are matching means it's zero. If any of the ASCII values is missing, mean, missing means the values will change. Right? So that's the thing of compare to method in the string class. Okay? And we have lot of methods in a class. Like uppercase is there, lowercase is there. If you see in this also we can find them. to lowercase to uppercase uppercase means what just you have to call that thing and trim means removes the space actually it trims the particular space before the string or after the string okay and uh, you have again separate methods like l trim and r trim r trim means removes the right side space L3 means remove the left side space. Okay. So next. The two uppercase means the lowercase values will be converted to uppercase. And the two lowercase means the uppercase values converted to the lowercase. And after that, what was that we are discussing? Compare to. Right? What compare to does? It compares based on ASCII values. Based on ASCII values. Okay. Now, after string comparison, we have a concept known as substring. So what is the substring? A part of the string is known as substring. A part of the string is known as substring. Now I have this method like if you want you can check it out here again order the substring method you can say you have to check whether substring is available or not inside the string class yes so you have two things 
वन इज सबस्टिंग ऑफ एंड एंड वन इज सबस्टिंग ऑफ एंड का माइंड सपोज आई एम हैविंग अ वैल्यू लाइक हियर कंसीडर so i'll just say some thing like uh, hello world so here that index will start from 0 onwards actually so for if i say hello world if i go to that particular thing like memory the starting thing will be a 0 like 0 h is what index 0 and this will be 1 2 3 like that for each character a particular sequence will be there like 0 is for h because it's starting from 0 right so we have a method known as substring and if i just say System dot out dot print ln s dot substring of some four. So what is it? You can say zero is h, one is e, two is l, three is l, and four is o. Right? If you just compile this thing. And run it again. What it's saying? Cannot find symbol substring. So just check it out. What is that substring name actually? Yeah, here you can see that S is not capital actually. Substring, everything is small, right? So if you see the method, it will be clear. Now substring of four means say the same thing. compile and run so what is getting displayed i said that 0 is h 1 is e 2 is l 3 is l and the fourth character is o from o till the end it is getting displayed right from o till the end it will get displayed That is the advantage of substring, right? Suppose we have one more method. What is that one more method? Substring of int comma int. Int comma int means you can pass two parameters. One second. Yeah. Uh, why it is printing from O and then world also? There are good numbers on that, Kada. W ninchi vatic numbers on the that's what the substring and into the part of a string. Part means what? If I say four, it will print till the end. If I have hello world and anything else, if I write, okay. if I just say the same thing, like save it and run, you got the entire thing, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. From that substring, like what is the substring of four is nothing but from starting four, it will print till the end. Okay. 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 Now, okay. if you have one more thing, like I want to print only zero to four, zero comma four. Save hmm. this thing. What you got? We got only L. We didn't got O, right? Yeah. Because there is a difference in the index scenario. When you have a particular substring, like we have a substring of, if I say S dot substring of zero comma four, that zero is the start index. This is what? It's a start index.
and this 4 is nothing but the end index. Right? Usually if you see 0 is H, E is 1, 2 is L and 3 is L and uh, O is 4. Right? But when I give 0 comma 4, it's printing only till hell. It's not printing the O, right? Why? Because the index scenario for start index is starting from 0. It takes from starts from 0. The starts from start index starts from 0 onwards. And whereas if you see the end index, here it starts from 1. So even though you are starting from 0, when you are having the end, end digit is 4, it will start from 1. Like 1, 2, 3, 4. So what will be that 1, 2, 3? And that fourth character will be nothing but the hell hell itself right so that's the reason I got hell itself so this is the most important difference like start index is 0 and end index is 1 variation in starting like con uh, like uh, seeing the string calculating the index so that's the reason I got hell if I say 0 only for that method like here it will be again a different scenario I just want to say like uh, 4 if I save this thing compile and run from the fourth index you are getting all the particular part of a string okay that's the difference between substring of index and substring of index comma index start index and end index and a start chest about 0 in start chest thamu. ending calculate challenge 1 in start chest thamu. so 1 2 3 4 and up to a fourth character work to a chest in so fourth character is nothing but h here l here in hell right so if you want to clarity clearly i'll just have a thing on us hello space world so start index what is it here it will be 0 1 2 3 and the 4 right so it will be for these characters whereas for here 1 2 3 4 so this is start index starts from 0 and this is n index start from 1 ok so this is the part of a string is nothing but substring you can say and next after this substring we have string buffer like lot of methods are there I just given you the introduction of what are required things and I just want you to have a look at the split method okay split is a method which is the most important thing like suppose consider java p space java dot lang dot string Here you have a method known as what? Split. Right? So that split method return type is array again. So I want you to work out on spring and send me the program. Because a lot of examples will be there. A lot of different scenarios will be given. And other things are required but mostly I want split method because mostly in the industry we use split 
equals trim and is uppercase and lowercase itself okay so next what is the thing you can say string buffer so by tomorrow i want the program on split one or two programs two programs will be sufficient and uh, we have a class known as string buffer so if you see here i said string buffer is synchronized and mutable java dot long dot string buffer so what is string buffer you can say if you see what are the methods we are having here and i think but synchronize right so in this thing we have a method known as append what is the method append and this append method can add a string actually like similar to concat as concat is nothing but for string method which is immutable for string buffer the names will be changed like suppose here string buffer and you cannot have a string uh, like a literal for a buffer string buffer we must use the new keyword to just indicate the string string buffer and here we are giving it as hello and if i say s dot append what i am trying to say bye in this scenario if you print this output like s it will get printed java c string java string so what is it getting hello bye okay now if we have the same scenario for string builder also the output will be same like i am having string buffer instead of string buffer i am saying string builder s1 string builder right what i will do i'll say s1 dot append the methods are same actually if you see the methods of string buffer and the methods of string builder both are same the only difference between them is nothing but string buffer is synchronized and string builder is non synchronized okay so if you see here here also you are having the same append method right and this append method can be used to add a particular string like here you have this particular append method so what you can say s1 dot append of again world so if i compare this if i print this thing so both are getting changed mutable so what's the difference between string buffer and string builder the only difference is nothing but synchronized and non synchronized but that synchronized and non synchronized is also important part okay and i'll say the synchronized thing at the time of multi threading understood so what we have seen today is nothing but string is a class which is a group of characters and strings are immutable whereas string buffer and string builder are mutable mutable means which can be changed so you are able to change the values right we can change the values here okay so anyone any doubts no fine